Now we are back at our coil. Before we pressure test, as you see we have a 76 orifice on the inside of this thing. And the piston we had hanging from the outdoor unit, 71, so we're gonna replace that piston with this one. Because we always go with the unit outside. As you see, we've taken the nut list here. On the inside was the piston here, our 76, which you can keep if you want. It may come in handy at a later time. Sometimes people replace things halfway and pistons come in handy to have if you're adapting a new condenser to an old air handler or something like that. Not really a perfect scenario, but you have to make do of what you got. It's good to have a few of these laying around. So we're gonna put the new piston down in there. I'll show you how to do that. First, we notice there's a few things in this bag that are of note. The piston itself is inside the bag. You see it's a 71. Next, it's a Teflon O-ring. Now, this piece already has an O-ring. You can't see it right now, but it's up in there. So we don't need the Teflon O-ring, so that's another good thing to hold on to, because uh, a lot of times you'll drop one on the ground and it will disappear forever. We have a sticker. It's facing the wrong way right now, but it will say what size the orifice is. We have a little thin wire here. What that is for is for hooking the orifice and dragging it out of the distributor here distributor right here so you can hook the orifice and pull it out and make it a little bit easier because sometimes those things are a little bit of a bear to get out uh, it depends on what setup you're using this particular orifice is not too bad usually so we're gonna go ahead and drop this one in that distributor right there now this orifice right here will fit downward like this and why if it's downward like that we'll go ahead and put it in there why if it's downward like that because the refrigerant will be passing through this pipe into the distributor. It pushes that orifice back. And that way, the only way refrigerant can flow through is through that tiny hole in the center. By that same token, whenever we have our heat running, our refrigerant will be passing back through this way. It'll blow the distributor forward and it'll be able to pass both through the center hole and through the small holes on the exterior of the piston. So you get complete flow. The only time you have a restricted flow is in air conditioning, when your liquid refrigerant is flowing through here into the piston. And that's how we install a piston. I'll show you how to use that little wire to take one out. Right, we have our little wire. See, just a small hook on the end, if you can see it. It's hard to see with the focus on the piston. You drop it through the center hole, drag it to the side and pull it up, and you have your piston. Take it out, and you can Remove it from the hook and drop it right back in.